I'll be showing you step by step how to customize the Shopify themes Don cart. So to do so, let's start from our Shopify dashboard here and then to access our theme settings, let's go to the left hand side menu, click on online store. The theme section should open up automatically and I can see that Don is my currently published theme. So I'm going to click on the customize button in the center of the page and this will open up our theme editor for our Don theme where we can go and make our customizations. So let's adjust some overall cart settings. So to do so, we'll go to the left hand side menu, click on theme settings, and then you scroll down until you see the cart section. So I'm gonna click on it to expand. I'm gonna scroll down some more so I can see the settings. And so for the first setting to customize the cart, we can see the cart type. So our cart page can be a separate page, a pop-up notification, or a drawer. So let's take a look at what each of these looks like. So for the drawer, if I set that, I go to save in the top right. I can now go to one of my products here. Let's say it's the outdoor camping bag. And if I hit add to cart, I can then see that because it's a drawer, it's gonna pop out from the right hand side and it's gonna say your cart where it shows the item I just added. So if I go back to the left hand side, theme settings, and I scroll down to cart again, if I change this to page, I get a save in the top right and I close this and I go to add cart again, I can then see it brings me to a separate page. The last one is going to be pop-up. So I would go change things to pop-up, hit save in the top right again, I go back to my product and I hit add to cart one more time here. I can then see it now shows up as a pop-up. This video, I'll leave it as a page here as this is gonna give me more customization on what I add to that page. Now there are a few more settings for showing the vendor you can also enable cart notes so a customer can add additional information when they complete their order. I'm gonna deselect these for now and I'm going to go to save in the top right. Now to access the cart page, I'm gonna to go to the top where it says default product. I'm gonna go down to cart. I can also simply just click the cart bag here in the top right and this will bring me to my cart page. Now I'm gonna get additional settings on how I want this to look. On the left hand side, I can see I'm now on the cart template. This is also confirmed at the top here, but under the template section, I can see the subtotal price here, the checkout button is here at the bottom. I can rearrange these by dragging these around and now my subtotal is below. I'll probably just leave this as the default here. And I get the ability to add different blocks if I so choose. There's only the ability to add one subtotal in checkout with the Dawn theme here, but I can also add different app blocks if I want to as well. I can also add additional sections. Maybe I wanna show a featured collection below the card section and I can do so by going to add collection, clicking on featured collection, I can see it now appears below my cart section. I can continue to add different sections if I want. Maybe I want multi rows or rich text, but I do get the ability to customize these. Now you don't necessarily have to add them in. I can easily remove them by clicking on the element, scrolling down on the right hand side and going to remove section. I can do the same for my new row, as well as the rich text, leaving it back to the default here. I don't get a lot of customization on how this looks here. So if I click on the subtotal price or checkout price, there are no customizable settings available. I can customize these buttons by going into my theme settings and adjusting the overall color scheme. What I can do is add padding on top. So if I click on the overall items here, on the right hand side, I can now see top padding and bottom padding. So it's basically the space between this element and the top element and this element overall and the footer element. So if I exp expand these here to the max 100 pixels, I can see quite a bit of space was added. Now to confirm any of these changes, I can also click save on the top right hand side. Now I did mention that we can change the checkout button color. So let's go and do that. So on the left hand side here, we're gonna click on theme settings. We're gonna go to the color section. So once we're in our color section, we'll see different scheme one, scheme two, three, four, and five. Now the checkout button here does follow the first scheme for buttons. So we know if we change this, we can change the checkout button color. So I'm gonna click on scheme one here and it should be under the solid button background. So if I go and click on the circle here, I can then see a color wheel in which we can customize. Let's say I want it to be red instead of black. I can click on it. I can now see the button color has been updated. I can basically select any color I want here. Maybe I want it to be a blue instead. I can also make it that color. Now you may also want to edit the solid button label, so the text here. Let's say I want it to be black instead of white. And just like that, I've edited the checkout button color on the add to card page. So to confirm any of these changes, hit save in the top right here. And to note that primary button did change some things such as 
is the buy it now button on our product page. But just like that, I've made the changes I was looking for on the cart page. That is how you do customization to this page with Shopify Don. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. That's where our sponsor profit calc comes in. It's the one click calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations so you can see how much money your store has actually made. It includes tons of different details, analytics, and metrics so you can make smarter business decisions for your store. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold options. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below. From there, you can get access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it so much if you smashed that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.